Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today's project, I'm going to be walking on Parque Misila, which is this uh, public community in Jerusalem that's basically the line of the old trainway from Jerusalem to Jaffa. And it leads all the way down to Teddy Stadium in South Jerusalem, so I'm going to be walking. It starts here, uh, just before the first station, and basically it's this old train line that's been converted into kind of a public park style amenity. The first major thing you pass by on the Parque Mesila is the Tachana Rishona, which is the first station entertainment complex, uh, which I've recorded a couple of videos in sight here. It's this kind of meeting place in Jerusalem. It's got a little uh, ferry ground here and restaurants, and it's kind of a uh, co, it's supposed to be friendly for all Jerusalem residents. So they have here places that open on the, uh, sub on the Sabbath, the Shabbat. There's also a bike lane running on the Mesila, so uh, you can see I'm on the pedestrian side. Hopefully on this side you have where the uh, people on the bikes can go. And there's lots of restaurants here, they've introduced this new thing um, in which you can order from any of the restaurants and they all like aggregate their menus, which is pretty cool. Jerusalem is not famous as a city of bars, but there are a few ones. And this is one I actually quite like, it's called uh, Habuteca. They have some nice outdoor space here for sitting in their uh, beer garden. There's a lot of um, exhibitions here, so they're setting up a area for Shavua Hasefer Ha'ivri, which is the Hebrew book festival. So you can see they're going to have lots of stands. There's lots of uh, little events like this uh, in this area over here. You can also see all, all along the path they have these artifacts from the uh, when the train was running here. So you can see here this kind of juncture box for signaling the train. We're walking again now along the part where the original railway track is preserved. And this is actually similar to a project that was undertaken in uh, New York. So uh, this is the original gauge and you can read all about for the tech. For those interested in railway tech, you can read all the details of the type of line gauge that was used when this railway was in operation. There's also lots of placards here if you're interested in the history. So you can see about uh, a plaque here that's in Hebrew, Arabic and English. Uh, talking about the history of the railway and what it was used for and uh, World War I, 1917, the uh, dates during which it was in use. Now crossing uh, Derech Beit Lechem, which is uh, Bethlehem Road. Meandering southbound now on the park. And this is why it's called in Hebrew Park HaMesila because there's this really nice green space that the municipality has carved out between the two directions. There's benches to sit on so during the uh, summer, and I'm recording this in June, this is a uh, popular place for Israelis to hang out. And uh, in my, you've got some water fountains here, always very useful. More placards, I love my placards. And uh, I think this is great, but my, I think they could actually do a lot more with this kind of park area in terms of putting up amenities here. Perhaps a little pop-up uh, craft beer bar or a restaurant or something of that nature would be, would be cool. One of the well-known features along the train line is what's called the Tachanot Kriya, which are these reading stations. So they're kind of modeled after bus stations and you see they've got a kind of bus station-like sign. And these are lending libraries that are open to the public so anybody can come and take a book. And uh, they have books in Hebrew, they have books in English. And this is very popular because in Jerusalem you have a lot of English speaking residents, French speaking residents, and people, Orthodox Jews who keep the Shabbat, do not use electronics. So therefore these libraries are really useful that people will exchange books that can be read there. And you, you can see again, they have signs in English, in Hebrew, and also in Arabic. You can see they've got a poster here showing what the railway looked like during the time of the mandate. And somebody has applied graffiti saying, save Sheikh Jarrah. So you can see that despite the, uh, the people who run this saying it, uh, it's a fulcrum of coexistence. Evidently, there are different uh, political opinions um, among those using this public community. I must say that doing this YouTube channel has been a great way to get some exercise, to get out and about. I'm currently doing a mixture of uh, remote work and freelancing, and I spent the last two nights working till like midnight virtually. So it's amazing to be able to just take a couple of hours out for to get some exercise, get some sun 
clear my head a bit and then I'll go back to working in a couple of hours and um, as I make more of these videos I hope to do a lot more of that so if you're interested in what's there to see in Jerusalem let me know in the comments what I should check out next and I'd be happy to go and shoot a video there you can see there is a lot of development work going on in the area this is called a Masila this development here where there's this big uh, crane and uh, luxury living in the German colony so the area that this route passes through is considered one of the most well-to-do and affluent neighbors, neighborhoods in Jerusalem. I'm recording this video during uh, midday during the week so it's really nice to see it so quiet for a change. If I recorded this video on the uh, Shabbat for instance this section of the park would be absolutely thronged with people and uh, even during other times of the week after work this is very popular with people exercising just passing now another of the reading stations so they're actually dotted along uh, this track this is now we're almost we're going through the back of Talpio we're coming through the back of Talpio and I'm not sure exactly what this canyon slash mall is called uh, but this is where we are it's one of the back malls in Talpio and there's a Rami Lavi store here so we're going further and next we're going to be passing through the neighborhood of uh, Beit Safafa Interesting enough, you have sections of um, the railway that are like this, that they've kind of just preserved the actual uh, outside lines, excuse my lack of rail terminology here. And then there are small sections like the one I'm just going over now, where you actually have the original railway in all its glory. And uh, you can actually see there's inscriptions you can make out, PRBS 75 1933. Uh, so you can get the date when I presume this was uh, in operation here. It's nice that there's lots, lots of park benches here, so if you need a sit down, it's currently like 30 degrees Celsius, so it's pretty warm. And uh, it's lit up as well, you've got lights, so you can walk this at night time too. So um, I just feel like, you know, when you're doing a lot of work, there comes a time where your brain just like isn't working anymore and you need to do something like this, take some exercise. So that's how I'm able to do these things during the day. So now just going through the part of the city, we're gonna be in Beit Safafa soon, and there's a big underpass uh, next to the highway that we're just about to go under here. We're just passing under the road that goes over part of Talpiot, and the Mesila continues under it. And there's some really colorful uh, graffiti here, I don't know if you can see that, under the bridge, and some of it's in Arabic. Okay, we are now going through Beit Safafa, which is one of the Arabic neighborhoods of Jerusalem and this is the soccer field in Beit Safafa and you can see there is a uh, mosque here in the distance so this is Beit Safafa which is a neighborhood in uh, South Jerusalem and behind it leading into Bethlehem so you can see a couple of minarets here the mosque and this park goes straight through it which is actually really cool that it connects the uh, different parts of the city this plaque here is just telling the history of Beit Safafa and it says that like a lot of the um, the Arab villages are parts of Jerusalem, it was actually originally a village that was later integrated to the city and it was in the hands of the Jordanians originally and uh, the Jaffa Jerusalem railway ran through the village beginning in 1949 with the armistice agreements uh, the village was cut in two, part of it came under Jordanian control part of it remained Israeli and it stayed that way until Jerusalem was unified in 1967 just to verge a little, now we have a section of concrete and now we have another section where the original train uh, gauge in its full is visible here running along the ground. These days there is no train that runs between Jerusalem and Jaffa specifically but there are actually two trains running between Jerusalem and Tel Aviv. The first and the much better known one is the high speed, high speed train that I made a video of before and that's really quick and that's now how almost everybody gets between the two cities but there's actually still a slower train uh, that runs between Jerusalem and Tel Aviv and it leaves from this train station where we're going to wind up here in Malcha and uh, there's kind of no reason to take that train anymore but it is very scenic so that's still in existence. You really get the full Jerusalem experience taking this thing because we're now coming into some sort of a construction site and uh, I'm not exactly sure what's happened to our train line because it's currently in the middle of here so I'm just going to talk to the workers and hope this uh, continues but uh, yeah this is some sort of construction project. 
Okay, this it turns out is as far as you can currently go on the uh, train line. I just spoke to one of the workers and he explains to me that this is a construction site where the train just ends. So it looks like I'm not gonna be able to go all the way to where this path officially stops in uh, Teddy Stadium. And you can just see behind me there is just, they're like building some kind of an overpass here and the train line just randomly stops. But uh, this has been enough, enough exercise for one day anyway. Thank you guys for watching today's video exploration of Jerusalem. Checking out the Park Hamesila running towards uh, but not currently terminating it seems in Malka. If you'd like to get more videos from me about Jerusalem, Israel and many other things then please feel free to hit the subscribe button. Thank you guys very much for watching.